Well, China is showing its strength in a Ladakh region so firmly, Indian soldiers reportedly had a serious face-off with Chinese army on Monday. India and China both accusing each other for the serious face-off on the standoff in the Galvan Valley region. China says Galvan Valley was always theirs. In the last 48 hours, everything changed in the India-China border, which never happened in 40 years between India and China. As each other accusing other, India said China had tried to change the status quo in the LAC. While Beijing says India is the one which crossed the LAC and provoked the Chinese. Still, yesterday's talk didn't get through any solution. According to the Indian news media, China was about to erect a building in the Indian territory, which led to the serious face of and standoff in the region. The strategically important Galvan Valley, which lies between the India-China-Tibet border, near the Ladakh region. On Monday, the serious standoff and the face-off also, including the pulling and the pushing the others into the freezing river. Indian army was massively outnumbered by the Chinese, according to one of the army officers of India, who told to the BBC. It was 55 Indians versus 300 Chinese. Now, India's people started to call for a ban on every Chinese product and Chinese manufacturer in India, while Indian Prime Minister Modi addressing people in his television coverage where he never takes questions, said that India wants peace, but when provoked, India is capable of giving a fitting reply, be it any kind of situation. Bharat shanti chahta hai. Lekin भारत उकसाने पर हर हाल में यथोचित हर हाल में यथोचित जवाब देने में सक्षम है His statement was more direct towards its opposition party in India than China While the opposing party in India asking tearing questions on the India China border issues as usual, the Prime Minister of India never answers and always will say it was Congress party in the reason for all these situations. He never takes questions or answers straightly. After 40 days of silence, Mr. Poem Modi answered the Indian people as many Indian soldiers have lost their spot on Monday. PM Modi was pushed to give a statement on Tuesday. These are the words revolving around the world media now. As usual, the Chinese never gives a real number on these army losses. Instead, China is still blaming everything on India, and India and China have a history of face-off and overlapping territorial claims always in the 3,440 kilometers in an unofficially drawn LAC which is separate in the two countries. As India's Prime Minister Modi came to be Indian Prime Minister with his nationalist agenda and speech, which he only did against Pakistan right now, India still now didn't even give a firm reply to China. It is As India has a huge deficit with China, which will crush and crumble the Indian economy if he talks about anything bad about China right now. While China says the diplomatic talk has to be happen, India and China talks are not getting any solutions right now. While these are going on, China has gone through a series of military exercises yesterday in Chinese territory. India's politician says India is not in 1962 right now, but China is also not in the same as in 1962. One of the Chinese officials have said to a news report, that both countries have to make talks and negotiations, as China is the biggest and the strongest military than India. China has to remember one thing as they say, China can't use all of its military towards India and doing so, it will open borders to Russia, Japan, Vietnam, Korean seas 
and U.S. naval forces, which will be devastating for China. Also, India is the strongest and one of the biggest military in the world next to China. And to the important note, India is the only country has the capability to withstand any conquest on its mountainous area in the Himalayas. Chinese military can come but can't withstand in India's border. During the phone call to the Chinese foreign minister, a strong message was conveyed by the Indian's foreign minister. What happened in the Galvan Valley was premeditated and planned action by the China, which was responsible for the sequence of events, reported by an ANA, the Indian media reporter. On the while, Prime Minister Modi faces backlashes from India's opposition party Congress and huge pressure from Indian people. India's standing still on military orders or diplomatic solutions as of now. As said before by the Indian military officials and the Home Minister of India, Indian military is ready to face anything from Chinese aggression. While Indian government is struggling to solve the issues or don't know to solve the issues right now, Prime Minister Modi has called for an all-party meeting on 19th of June 2020 to discuss the India border issues after a series of eye-to-eye face-off with Chinese. India is getting closer and closer to the US, Japan and Australia. China now sees India as the biggest rival as in US in Asia. India's road constructions near the LAC, military pact with US and Australia, and they're entering the G7 countries against China, which has made China to do something against India to stop India, as to bring them to the tables like in 1962. Among the Indian leaders and the politicians and the supporters, it may be proud to say that India under Modi is no longer India in 1962. This will sound attractive when it voice and by some nestless news anchors of Indian television channels. In reality, China is a superpower who has a clear ambition to replace America as the most powerful nation by 2049 and an influential force in the world politics in few decades. India is responsible nations which relies on diplomatic and back-channel talks to diffuse tensions. As Mao of China told in 1962, China wants India on table to talk for negotiations. While India is weaker in economy right now, it can't afford any battle with any country. And as of same thing for the China, which can't afford the same thing. So what do you think of? India China getting into a battlefield if anything went wrong. And do you think both countries will solve any issues peacefully and diplomatically? China is jealous of India's economic ties with Africa's Egypt solar power plant project. To electrify the remote village of Advin, close to the Libyan border, India has launched a solar project with a state of art technology to electrify a remote village in Egypt. The solar electrification project, an off-grid system that is ideal for remote location, has been launched at Agwin village in the western desert in Matrav Gaunaid, close to a Libyan border. India provided all the solar panels and subsystem, machineries, equipment and technical support as well as training for the technicians, while the Egyptian government provided the location for the implementation of the project. The project was inaugurated by India's ambassador to Egypt, the Sanjay Bhattacharya, and Major General Allah Fatih Abu Zaid, the governor of Madro. The project harnesses the sun and enriches the life of the villagers. The project is a demonstration of India's technical capabilities, especially in the renewable energy, and can be replicated at other locations in Egypt, Mr. Bhattacharya said. The total output of the project is 8.8 kilowatt. The project has the ability to electrify the whole village. Major General Ziad had said the project will not only provide electricity to the Agwin village but also giving training to the workers on how to maintain and adjust the solar energy system to help forming groups of well-trained workers in the governorate. The solar electrification project at Agwin will provide electricity to 40 houses, a school, a mask and a community center.
While China is getting jealous of India's abroad projects, China has now planned more of Africa's projects in its Oberp initiative or the One Road initiative. While in the latest survey, Xi Jinping has no trust in African people. And with the latest Sikkim border issue has made both the countries to jump in the economic battle for Africa. So what do you think of India's economic cooperation with Africa and China's cooperation in Africa? Do you think both are the same kind of strategies? Post your comments below. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And follow us on social networks. And subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. This is WC Daily. Think big. Think different. Bye.